Hey guys, it's John here again. Um, 23rd of April. Um, I've got two albums to show for that release date um, from way back in the past. One from 20 years ago and one from... Uh, my maths is crap. Um, <laughs> from 2013. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> let's do the one from 20 years ago to 2002 on this day. Um, this is by the band Dokken and the album is called Long Way Home. It has Don Dokken on vocals. It has, um, I think only one other original member. And that would be, I think, the drummer. Um, and then the guitarist on here is the one and only um, John Norum, who um, was the original member of, or original guitarist of Europe. He did the final countdown, and not long after the final countdown song came out, he left. Yes. Um, but yeah, he was in Dokken for a bit. I don't know how long, because I've never, I've not really been um, a big Dokken fan. I've liked quite a few of the songs. I'd say uh, the the live um, album they did, something, is it something Beast? Because I can't remember. I like that album. I like that live album. Um yeah, I've not really followed uh, them a huge amount. And my first time I got was into Dock, and I think I picked up a a DVD live in Japan or something like that. It was, um, and I just got it because it was really cheap. And I thought I'll give them a go and see what they're like. Um, I own some vinyl. I own some quite a few of the CDs. But not everything, I don't think. Um, but yeah, this one. Um, this one I, I put on before because I hadn't heard it for a very long time. And there was a, quite a few good songs on it, actually. Um, there is one on here called Sunless Days. It's the first track. And um, when I played it um it sounded very much like black label society except from it's got dundock and on vocals the riff is um quite very much like zach wild um doing a uh, a riff it just reminded me it's quite heavy for a dock and album um Yes, I know that John Norham went on to do Start From The Dark with Europe after this, and some of the riffs in that were quite dark. Um, but this was quite dark, dark. Um, and, yeah, it was very catchy as well. Uh, I got into that song pretty pretty uh, well. I was like, this is a pretty cool song. Um, and then... I thought, right, I've got one more album to show. So I thought, I'm just going to revise that album. So I put it on, and the first song that came on was a song called um, Cold. And I'll show you what the album is. This one came out in 2013 on this date, 23rd of April. And it's actually off of this album, um, Queensryche, Frequency Unknown, or the F.U., and that was the F.U. to the other members of the band. This is the album that Jeff Tate did without the rest of the members of the band because they took him to court. And um, because uh, I think they, f I don't know, I don't know if they fired him or just, uh, or he just left in the end. But yeah, um, I forgot the whole story. It's been a long time now. 
probably been 10 years or more. Um, where has the time gone? So yeah, this is his first record then. So we had two Queensrikes uh, for a very short time. And then after that, there was no more. I don't think there was any more released by Jeff Tate uh, under the Queensrike banner. Um, so I put on that song Cold, which is the first track, side A. And I was like, hang on a minute. This sounds like there's some similarities to Sunless Days off of there. It's got that little bit of a pinch harmonic, a bit like Zach Wilde. And the same sort of very similar riff, guitar riff. And I was like, it almost sounded like the same riff. Like, I reckon it was 95% the same thing. And I was like, oh, okay. So these are, you know, if you, if you want to have a listen to it, people that like this album or have never heard this album, go and check out the song Cold. Just the first 20 seconds of it. And then go and check out the song Sunless Days, track one, on this Long Way Home CD. Don't put in Long Way Home on YouTube, because if you do, it won't bring up the album, this album. It will bring up the song Long Way Home by Dokken, which is on the Dysfunctional album, as I found out. Um, which is that album which came out in 2005, whereas that one's 2002. Um, but yeah, um, they were very similar. So this has apparently got new improved audio remix, uh, sorry, audio mixes. But I don't know if it, um, I didn't put the record on, I just put it onto YouTube. I know sometimes YouTube can be a bit hit and miss. But every song I put on, the the, the sound of the, the the music was perfect, well, really good, very clear. But when Jeff was starting to sing, it was very quiet, and you couldn't even hear what he was singing. And I don't know if that's like that on the album, because I haven't played this. Um, so let me know what you think um, about the vocals. The so not all the songs on this are great. The, some of the music is great, but some of the vocals are not brilliant. And I'm uh, a big Jeff Tate fan for from the very start up until uh, the end. Well, after Promised Land, once Promised Land and and after, there's not many songs that I really enjoy that much. Um, I was actually listening to. The, um, oh, what's that album that came out in about 2000 by Queensryche? They did a song on there. I'm going to get it for you and check it out. Where? Yeah, I found the CD. So, yeah, on this album here, um, there's only, um, there's a song on here, Liquid Sky. Um, and... I didn't really like. I didn't like this album when it came out. I I I was really not into that. The right side of my mind is a great song, the last one, and then, um, and now I've been playing. I've been checking out that Liquid Sky song again, and I was like blown away by actually how cool it is. Twenty years, uh, sorry, twenty two years later, I think. Sorry, twenty three years later. I can't believe where the time's gone. I remember buying that on the day and putting it in the car. Um, but yeah, um, there's not many Queensryche songs that I like after Promised Land. Um, so this was more of, I got it because it was a very good buy at the time. And I liked the cover art as well. And I wanted Jeff Tate to be able to do an album that was going to show the other members of the band that he could, you know, he was 
going to kick ass. This one was not it. Whereas I've seen some of the Jeff Tate stuff in the last four years, something like that. And it's got a hell of a lot better. But then there's a lot of stuff that Queensryche have done with the new, with Thingy, Todd. And that's great as well. Um, I don't own a lot of that. I don't. I still like both versions of Queensryche. Oh, sorry. Je I still like Jeff Tate stuff. And I like some of the stuff I've heard of Queensryche with the with Todd. But I just don't like Todd himself. Um, he's very full of himself. Like, very full of himself. Whereas Jeff is a very down-to-earth guy. And, um, yeah. I don't... I'm not like... I, I just don't like people that are, like, full of... Full of themselves like that. Um, and they just... They love themselves, you know? It's like, look at me, look at me. Like David Lee Roth. Sorry. Sorry, I had to bring that up again. But, yeah. Right. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so released on this day, 2002, and released on this day, 2013, and I'm going to do another video tomorrow, or for tomorrow, with the next um, a few albums that I will show. This is the way of me getting my stuff out to show you again. Because I've shown collections, I've shown this, that, over the years. And I feel like, yeah, I've shown that already. But there's lots of new people watching. And I want to get some of my stuff out again. And to do anniversary stuff, I can pull out some albums and just quickly talk about stuff on it I like. Songs I like, songs I don't like. Things about the band, you know. So this is just a way of getting... Um, a bit more variety on my channel and I'm still going to do my going out buying records going out searching for cheap stuff <laughs> even though if you've watched my last few videos I didn't pick up a lot there doesn't seem to be much out there at the moment but we're into the car boot season um, and that's going to hopefully there's going to be more stuff out there. So I'm going to shoot off. And cheers for watching. And listening to whatever it is you're listening to. And I hope you managed to find. What you wanted for record store day. Um, if you. Didn't get anything. Um, let me know in the comments. If you um, struggled to find what you wanted. Because it was quite difficult for me. To find anything. And. Um, let me know if you've done a video and I'll watch it and see what you got. So cheers. See you later.